mm-hmm. so that when I go preach the good news, mm-hmm. because it call una from dark from darkness, can enter bright light. Come on now, can enter in bright light. In bright light, it's not just any light, it's God's light. No bright wow. light. Actually, just answered the next question <laughs> because I was going to ask you how do you deal with competition like that competitive spirit? Because honestly, that competitive spirit is even something that I remember starting with you. I'll be like, ah, this person can just that day. No, 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 this person has 10,000 subscribers. Me, that thing. This is my first, this is my time. How do you deal with that comparison and comparing yourself with other people? Okay, uh, do you need to ask God to give you what differentiates you from every other person? Mm-hmm. Once you get that one, you keep running. Happy. Yeah. Because each time you go and visit someone else's page to see, you know that they have capped you. Because the truth will keep capping you, and <laughs> God will keep training you. Exactly, like attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Yes, and then before you know, you strive for coming, envy will mm-hmm. come in. You be wishing the person bad luck. What your brothers and sisters of comparison. You understand? So you start thinking about terrible stuff, but yeah. if you're able to coordinate your spirit. I've always said that coordinate your spirit, coordinate your heart, you will get the desired result. Just just keep at what God is asking you to do and then you get the results. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And before you leave, really, that's kind of outside the question. <laughs> the next question, because basically the next question was about how to find your uniqueness, like say, your unique, the kind of uniqueness that you have. Because I think one thing I, I've realized is that I think people are actually afraid to be different. It's like you see people creating a particular type of content and you just feel like, ah, not come with something so different. How do you kind of find that uniqueness? If, if, if you've answered it in how you said you should ask the mm-hmm. Holy Spirit like, to show you the uniqueness, but what other ways can you like you know identify what makes you stand out or makes you different? Okay. Whatever? Apart from the Holy Spirit already downloading that to you, you could also ask your friends, what do you think I am to you? Mm, yeah, what like what do you see in me? Yeah. Because sometimes the Holy Spirit can speak through your friends. Mm. Like they are like the closest people to you as much as people say yeah your friends may not really you know want you to do well but you know there'll be friends that the Holy Ghost can direct you to meet and then you see another thing is your friends may not tell you the truth but you can have your mentors yeah your mentors can tell you or your pastors you know especially that's why I used to tell people I encourage them to always try to work in God's house yeah so, so true a lot of times when you work in God's house it harnesses what you mm-hmm. can do so easily in if, if you can do it in the house, that means you can do it for the um, major true. platform. Yeah. A lot of people that you see today, they started most of their things from the church. It's true. Even even people that have left church, like mm-hmm. people that are singing one yeah, these songs now, they actually started in the church. They started in the church. But don't mm-hmm. forget that these people still acknowledge Jesus. Yeah. You still see them, you know. They the time, yeah. When I was in uni one day, I was just checking through some some artists who started out in church. You find out that on their album they dedicate one song to Jesus. Oh, and then they're down. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I see you, but I want to recognize presence. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, they just do that one just to be on the same side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do that. They do that. They do that. They do that. So, just understand how it works. Ask people, you know, make a query. It's just like when you're on a job, they do like an appraisal for you. Yeah. They want to appraise you to see what. So they'll ask your line manager to appraise you. They'll ask your team members to appraise you. Then your overall boss will appraise you, yeah. so that they can determine, you know, how far you're going and how well you're doing. It's almost like the overall boss like is gone. Like, it's good, of course. Even if you're getting, you know, I guess from people like you said, ask the Holy Spirit and don't miss you, who makes you stand out. Well, that's mm-hmm. really interesting. I think I, I really like you said a lot of things that I'm you know, really taking. Let me that's also say this: way. you find peace. Mm, that yeah. Peace, yeah, yeah, you find peace because that peace is what you know, makes you know that you know the Lord is with you. Yeah, you're like, Lord, am I doing the right thing? You know, you there's also some things you're doing, you're so perturbed, so bothered. But once there's that peace, you know that it's like a calmness in your spirit that yeah. you can't, you can't yeah. even experience, just know that you are. Yeah, you know, by power, by might, that's what people are doing. Mm. But once you see that you're out of by power, by might, you just, yeah. you know, it's just like. They're just doing it with ease. Yeah, you're living yeah. in God's rest. Yeah. That's what that means. That's really, really good. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. I'm sure that you're learning a lot. Like, personally, it's just like teaching wisdom. I was like, this 
wisdom, impartation of wisdom. <laughs> impartation of wisdom and common sense. Go go go. But yeah, that's that's amazing. And I think like that you said about um like not something else when you said, I don't remember like not comparing yourself. I think one thing I notice about comparison as well is that it's almost like it's a very big distraction. Like instead of using that time you're using to um compare or check with that people's stuff, you can actually use that to build your own and ask God, okay, what can I do? I know you said about what's starting in the household, but I think for me that's something that really helps me because I remember then, I actually used to be in the choir, <laughs> interestingly. Wow. And then I was just like, this choir thing. And then I was studying media, right? And the next thing I was like, I'm going to hear the media news. I was like, me, I said, no, no, no. I said, I can't. I'm busy. I can't do this. And the pastor was like, no, you are doing this. And then I did try, like, in that space, that was really what helped me to actually know that, well, I can't actually do this thing. So mm-hmm. even in, like, applying for jobs, when jobs come, there's always going to happen. Handle this, they can handle this too. Like, if you could handle, truth is that in the house of God, you find so many types of people. So, for you to do a media team, or more mm-hmm. media team, in fact, I feel like we're like the most controversial <laughs> team in church because if pastor is not getting scripture, you don't get studio, mm-hmm. media, yeah, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, choir and media always fight because choir people will not send their song. <laughs> <laughs> and media people are like, I remember then I'll be meeting choir people, like, how far you just send your song? Because yeah. they, and then, if you don't project me with factors like media, you're like, Pastor is quite like, okay. I <laughs> so, so honestly, like the house of God, really, exactly to really train your character, to help you, it will help you how to like manage people, and these are things you need even outside you know the church, and it's yeah. very important because then you can see what you're actually good at doing. I think when I started, because again, I, I come from a Muslim background, right? So coming to church, I really explored lots of things, I've done training, I've done communion, like I mean, communion, mm-hmm. a lot of different things. So I think I'm able to see the things that I really like what I could actually do and then when I when I joined with I just felt like home. Oh. You know when you are just so many like this yeah. is where like around so they call it around home, we don't get around home. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah it's just felt like that. So yeah, it's so if you're watching this like I encourage you to explore that like what in your church, what can I actually do? What has God put in me? And then you will find that people want to like Jimmy will make a good usher. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's another yeah. way that you you know you know, you know where your strength lies and then you'll be able to move from there. That's good. Cool. What department are you in church? I'm curious. Uh, okay, I used to be in. Uh, <laughs> no, no, but I've done everything. Uh, I've done for the I've done Oshri. <laughs> I've I've joined them to sing before. <laughs> no, I've it's joined the way, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were, you were you honestly, you said I was in choir. No, 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 I've joined them because I know it's not really my area, but you know, you sometimes just for the world to move, <laughs> you know, they just say everything you should do. I've joined them to sing. I've been in a uh, traffic before. I don't know what you but I yeah, traffic traffic people. Those people, uh, um, you see well, different well, kinds of cars. Uh, <laughs> but I think where where I majorly stayed is in the teaching area. Oh, wow. You know, where you teach young converts, you teach uh, yeah, new people, cool. and then you train um, incoming workers. Cool. Yeah, that's where you know my my strength lies and stuff. So I'm more like a trainer and a facilitator oh, in the yes. other world. Yeah. I think that outside the house. Yeah, of course, of course, outside too. So. Oh, that's interesting. I am enjoying myself. I feel like I feel like adding like ten more questions. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for, yeah. for coming. So like the next thing is okay, it's going to be like dealing with negative comments. You know when you post something and someone is just like mm-hmm. just put one because how does people just put one long comments? This is not in line with the scriptures. There are some that are actually maybe let's say you posted something that we need to Later, found us inaccurate. How do you just manage that negative, maybe criticism, you know, people calling you to order and all that? Like how, do you, how do you do it? Number one, I appreciate the person for their contribution. Number two, tell the person that you will take out some more time to study and mm-hmm. then you get back to them. Wow. It's not hard mm-hmm. because the truth is that the person speaking to you was also corrected at some point in their lives. Yeah, it's true. So, if everybody you know, knew everything, nobody would come out to speak. Mm-hmm. Just the same way some people come on the platform and say what they do not know. Yeah. So if someone comes and says that, oh, this thing that you have written, you know, is not so correct or is not correct, oh, you thank the person for their contribution. Mm-hmm. And let me also say that some people, sometimes they sound very rude. Ah, yes. correcting you. <laughs> you still thank them. Don't worry, you thank them. I, I did a short video, I did a collaboration with Lamb Stand. I mm-hmm. did a video on addressing negative comments oh. as a church 
I don't know if you ever saw it. Oh, yeah, I think I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, live stream. Yeah, no, not live stream. Was it real? Oh. So I collaborated with them. I think I remember seeing something yeah, like that. You, you, must, yeah. you must have seen it. So I, I talk about you know negative comments, how that you know when you are putting a comment, you need to recognize that mm. it's Jesus that is putting the comment, not you. Mm. And then you need to recognize that you know every comment does not deserve a response. True. Yes, you need to also realize that you know there are some comments that are put on your platform is just to test you, yeah. Yeah, your temperament. Also realize that you know. The, the Bible says that in my house there are many vessels. <laughs> so some vessels are not worthy. They just want to, you know, destabilize you. Shy. So they don't want you to. Another one is you can also restrict a comment that it sounds good. And yeah, or you, get, <laughs> you know. But then if it's something that is, you know, acutely insightful, yeah. you tell the person that you get back to them on that. Mm-hmm. Mind you, the fact that someone will play grammar and play scriptures doesn't mean it's correct. Exactly. I've exactly. seen someone who wrote it. I was like, please, can you send me your phone number? Mm-hmm. Because I need to explain a couple of things to you that you do not know. Mm-hmm. And then by the time I'm done, we now become friends. Mm-hmm. After you have been rude to me. But then <laughs> that's you know, that's fine. So that's how to you know deal with that. But it's not difficult. Some people just say, oh, why would you come to you came to my page? To I come and the negative I comment. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I've been there before. But me, I, I wouldn't act this way. I was like, who is this? I first gonna check you and your hundred followers. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. think there's some more people. They don't have to hide the truth. Yeah, they just have like ten followers, and all they are, you know how I'm trying to say that. There is the people. For me, that's the way they just roam. And I then, know, um, no. I know they're not. So you know, some of them they just do it. And sometimes, you know, these people don't just have a job. Yeah. I can remember sometime on Clubhouse, we we're having a program, and. Uh, I was discussing something on that platform and then you know clubhouse anybody can join. Yeah. You, you, know, you don't need to, you don't need to know. You, you don't need to know. You just you just see the house, you just join, you just join the group. So you know, I was talking and then I was preaching about something. Not like preaching, they asked me something, so I was trying to explain. And then this person just came and then just said, Why would you be talking about Jesus? Okay. And those you told me that's a demon, you have to repeat wow. the demon. And I said in the name of Jesus, keep quiet. Wow. The person screamed. Wow. And then Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> demon have, online. Yeah, okay. so we have demons Where that are typing. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have demons that are typing. Honestly, yeah. honestly, actually, like person being on floor. The people there were just following me, like, who be this guy? <laughs> <laughs> honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you have to be you see, you have to understand that you're doing a spiritual mm-hmm. work. Exactly. The devil is not excited about you. Honestly. He's not excited. Once he sees that you are moving people from his camp. So the camp of God is trying to target. You have to target. Honestly. The people that are targets, let me tell you, the church, give us their yeah. targets. People wow. that preach, they are targets. People that work mm-hmm. in church, they are targets. People that pray. People that pray. You, you know the funny thing? No, I will not mention those that pray. Those that pray know that they are targets. Yes. <laughs> those ones, they know that. Hey, you got the ones praying this, you know, they know they're excited. So, but those ones, you know, don't feel like because I give in God's house, you know, you know I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm covered. You know, not exactly. The fact that you're using your sweat, your resources to move the gospel, you can be a target. Exactly. In fact, you can be a target by physical people. That's true. You know what I was just very interested about, even being like targeted. One thing is, you, you know, Job was a giver. And the devil so targeted him, like he took everything. Like, not of God, he was not saying, oh, oh my God. No. Job so far, shy. <laughs> no. So we are getting to the end of this. Sadly, we are getting to the end. <laughs> <It's> everything <laughs> that has been <laughs> has an end. Yeah. So yeah, so so basically I just want you to share as a content creator, as an influence, as a Christian influence. I would like asking you that Christian influence question. But I've had this question. <laughs> like, what are like your top tips, you know, that things that have helped you in your journey? Always listen to God's word because in the midst of God's word, His instructions are in there. Sometimes you're listening to a message, the Spirit is telling you another version of that message. Yeah. That's because some people cannot catch a message the exact way it was presented, but you can bring snippets out of that message yeah. and translate it to people. Another thing is listen to songs. Yeah. In songs, you know, those who just tell me one thing and just write it down. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you one of the funniest things. There are places that the Holy Ghost talks to you in your house. You need to find it. Yeah. 
True. If I tell you where mine is, you'll be shocked. That's mine. Bash is a place for inspiration. Yes, one. That's one. And there's another place again when I'm doing the dishes. Oh. So sometimes there are no dishes to do, I'll just wash. I'll just like, like, wash this place I'm here. Yeah, like I'm here. Like, yeah, so it's just like when I was in university, there used to be a place I must pass. Mm. So there are two ways to get my faculty. There's the regular way and there's another way that's like a longer journey. Mm. The place that's like a longer journey, there's a spot there that mm. just talks to me. Yeah. So that my friends are going through the other way. I, I, I please, me, I want to. Yes, they don't know why, but it talks to me there. So you need to find your place of talking. That's the yeah. place it talks to you. And then you need to be ready to listen so that you can tune. So don't ever use your head, use your spirit. It's not the head work really alone. You go, of course, you need to apply wisdom, yeah. but then you know it's, it's a spiritual work. And then you know, the, um, Dr. Mark Woodrock said something. He says, Wisdom is the ability to recognize difference. Wow. So when you are able to recognize difference, you'll be able to move forward. Yeah. But when you're not recognizing difference, you'll be competing. Like yeah, so it brings you back. I mean, you're not depending on the Holy Ghost, you're depending on self. Mm, that's so true. Yeah, so he said, finding how God talks to you, mm -hmm. listening to songs, yeah, listening yeah. to the Word of God. Mm -hmm. you know, and then knowing where He talks to you also, yeah. and then your ability to recognize the difference. Yeah, that's really cool. yeah. Top tips, guys. <laughs> I'm going to put in my account details. <laughs> <laughs> this wisdom cannot be for free. I'm joking. <laughs> So yeah. that's really really like interesting. I think as a content creator, it's important to just know like what works, what works for you. Like you said, having that. I think I've never really thought about it, but now I'm going to ask God like, about oh, where's the spot? Like, mm -hmm. is it? I think actually, I think for me, bathroom is also like I'm going to those places and just get one and turn like, hmm. It's like grandma. Like, you get the phone and say, "Jump down and go and do it." Right? Because you forget. Honestly, you. Let me tell you another thing. <laughs> the reason the Holy Spirit is not telling you, you know, your next move is because you have not done the last ah. move. Hmm. If you are guilty, let me see your because <laughs> I, I, I'm guilty of that. It's like I want to go direct me, show me what to do. Yeah. I'm like, that's why I told you, I didn't Yeah, this. yeah. And another thing I need to say is that sometimes the Holy Spirit is not giving you the next thing because you have not let go of the last thing. Mm, so it's like the two way thing. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah. let me do um, a quick question. Do you have a phone here? I have a phone. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay, so hold the phone. Well, my right. phone is about to be okay? <laughs> no, so hold the phone in your right hand. You usually right collect things with your right hand. So I'm about to give you my wristwatch. Okay, thank so, you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so take the wristwatch. It's my right hand. Yeah. Point is I'm left handed. So I'm what do you, okay, I okay, guess, okay. So guess. did you notice what happened? I you moved. Oh, I moved. Yeah, you moved. <laughs> you moved it from Wisdom. there. So a lot of yeah. times people are not letting go of the last thing he gave it's to like them. Like you're trying to get to the together. No. Wow. So you have to let go of that one so that I can give you an upgrade. Mm -hmm. So imagine that I was presenting to you an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Mm -hmm. So I'm presenting the iPhone 13 Pro Max exactly. to you, and, I'm still and you're still holding on to that, and you want the iPhone, iPhone Pro Max. IPhone <laughs> so perfect. I'm now expecting my advice. <laughs> from my as from a by someone from God. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's it. So you have to let go of the last thing so that I can give you something. So you gave one. Did you give one? I'm not That kind of illustration. I was already rejoicing. Like okay, I'm going to take this one and take the new watch. But yeah, definitely. Like yeah. Yeah, it's actually true. Like letting go of the thing that you yeah. enjoy and then also obeying the last. The last yeah. instruction. Yeah. Okay, so finally, like, what would you say inspires your content the most? Like, how do you mean inspires well my content? Like, like, okay, like, I know you say God. No, I know what you mean. But, like, apart from yeah. what, like, do you, are you inspired by, let's say, what's happening in society and world, maybe by people, maybe by music? Saying. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So, the, I have a slogan I love seeing people's lives change. Mm. So that inspires me a lot. So I just want to see you smile. I don't want to see someone looking grumpy and stuff. I want to know what the problem is mm -hmm. because we are solution providers. Mm -hmm. So we need to provide solution as inspired by the Holy Spirit. So I want to see people happy. I want to see people liberated, mm -hmm. you know, from the, the pit of the enemy. A lot of people today are not excited because they've not seen the message. Yeah, that's and true. So and we are all messengers. So. Mm -hmm. I want to deliver the message to the hands of the earth. 
in the UK, in London, everywhere, around, around, the, world, world, around the world, global. and it's what we are all supposed to do. Yes. So that's it. I just want to see people's lives change. Well, that's really cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. Please see, thank you to share all the comments. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. I'm probably going to just like break this video into two parts so that mm -hmm. yeah, I just have part one. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to give it to you people. I like, <laughs> have to give it to you step by step. So you, can, you can assimilate it and now take it in and come back and stand. But yeah, thank you so much. So, do you have like, any final words, anything like to say at this point? My final words to you. Okay, my yeah. final words to you is. Uh, First page, chapter two, verse nine. Mm. You are uh, okay. Let's open it. Let's, let's open it. Which version? <laughs> I like the amplifier because amplifier is always making it louder than. Okay, the, uh, first Peter. Amplifier classic or no amplifier? Classic, classic. Okay. First Peter two, two nine. Okay, let's I never had my phone in English. Hey, Jesus. But now, guys, if you can read it. No, I read it now. I read it in Pigeon. Come so that, on now. So that it can, you know, you know, you say something in Pigeon, like, okay, make it enter. Yeah, enter. Yeah, yeah. Okay, first it's at Sinai. Shall we? Yeah, of course, please. But you are a chosen race. Yes. A royal priesthood. Yes. A dedicated nation. Yeah, a dedicated hmm. nation. Specific nation. Wow. Okay. God's own purchased special, special people. Person. You are God's own purchased special. So a special person is not a normal person. I'm special. I'm special, yeah. I'm special too. <laughs> yeah. That you may set forth the wonderful deeds yeah. and display the virtues and perfection of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous, marvelous light. light. So we have to take that place again. Okay. Um, that you may set forth the that wonderful deeds. That you may set forth what the wonderful, wonderful deeds. deeds. That's content mm -hmm. creation. Wow. He has given you content. Yeah. He has given you stuff, like yeah. I said. So you have to set it forth. So a lot of people today say, oh, do you know what that person is doing? I can do it too. Do it. Exactly. Do it. Yes. Do it. Let's see. A lot of people, it's not just, it's not just, you know, writing things. Some people is makeup. Yeah. Some people is, is cake making. Some people is uh, fashion. Yeah. He has given it to you. Mm -hmm. You're a wow. dedicated person. So he has told me, he said, set it for, let people let see. Let people see it, yeah. Yeah. Go on, let, let's read. And display the virtues and perfections. Display the virtues and perfections. Mm -hmm. So w when you do it back end, then you bring it to the front so that yeah. people will see. It's like an outflow from your secret place. Exactly. Yeah. It's like um, the, the workshop. Mm -hmm. You don't like to see the workshop. But Who whatever we see on the display glass is what they brought from the workshop. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Wow. Um, the virtues and perfections of him who called you out of darkness into his, his marvelous, marvelous light. So you're already a light giver. You are, yeah, like, you are now in you know his marvelous light. So just go for them and make yeah. it happen. Make, just make it happen. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. I feel very empowered. <laughs> yeah. I'm special. That's yeah, I'm like, special. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's amazing. Thank you so much for your time. And I think like this scripture is just amazing. Like you are showing for it. Because content creation, like, people don't even it's it's it's, it's great breaking up bringing it up on the scriptures mm. because even God God is a creator like yes. he's a creator so we're supposed to be we are co-creators with him so he gives us ideas and I think the exciting thing is when God gives you an idea it's actually his pleasure for him to see it manifest. Yes. So if God is giving you ideas he doesn't, he doesn't just expect you know that was no one um puts a lamp stand and hides it from that. So imagine God giving you like these wonderful ideas and it was like I'm shy I can't I can't talk I can't sing I don't know how to do it. And what you said, like I like the fact that you also mentioned like other um, parts. So mm -hmm. it's not just um, it, as a makeup artist, you are called. Mm -hmm. you, you, it, it's a ministry. I think I was listening to a message by Sarah Jakes. I think it was there for yesterday, and she was like, you know, don't just say, oh, I'm a makeup artist. As you are handling somebody's makeup, you can you, that person can be sitting there. You, you are making somebody's hair. Do you know, like you, you have access. God has given you that opportunity to have this car contact with people. Mm -hmm. So it, it's for a reason. Or a doctor. You know, I've, I've, I've heard testimonies of doctors in, in during COVID and the laid hands of people with COVID, and they were actually getting their hair. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I think there's someone that said like, over seventy people. Mm -hmm. And he was like, God just told him that I sent him to this world. But when the first person was like, he was scared to be in COVID, we were like, come on, COVID. Like, and um, I think he was even American in that country. So it was like, really. Okay. So the point that you're saying is, it's beyond you know what we can see. It's actually the things that God has put in us. It's ministry. It's not just, oh, I can do this. Oh, I can cook. 
it's actually a ministry. Mm-hmm. It's someone that can cope you're using that so God can even lead you to feed people, feed the whole day. So yeah, this was amazing. And then you okay. know we're gonna read the pigeon. Okay, oh yeah, so, I forgot. <laughs> pigeon Bible. Let's yeah. see what that because I I've, I've never read it before in pigeon. I love to see what it means. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where can I find this? Where can I find this? Should be like PCM, right? Right, right, right. Did you just read pigeon and such? Let me just see. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> this is interesting. But God <laughs> don't choose Una to okay. be in priest and and holy people mm-hmm. so that Una will preach the good news mm-hmm. because it called Una from dark from darkness can't enter bright light. Come on now, can't enter in bright light. In bright light, it's not just any light. It's God's light. No bright wow. light. And then before before Una no be God people, but now Una <laughs> will be people. Wow, that time. God, no get messy for now, but now I don't get it. Ah, my God. Oh. I love it. Guys, <laughs> teaching Bible. And she has audio. So if you are very right, hey. you can listen to Bible in Pigeon. Wow. Wow, thank you so, so much. So but much. I don't have to say thank you, but I'm glad that we did this video. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that, that even like maybe five years to come, I come like, do you remember this video? Yeah, yeah. On the 2nd of September. Yeah. So it's raining. Yeah. Probably when the president of Nigeria. Ah, uh, okay. So, <laughs> If you're looking for small advocates <laughs> in the media, go to for the special media advice that I applied first. Apply in person, guys. Just in case. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so so much for your time. Wow. I learned so so much. Thanks for taking. Like you came all the way. Like, wow, I don't take it for granted. I feel very honored. Thank, thank you so much for having me. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Thanks for being here. And next time you come that like, you are going to maybe play and play with me. Let's have a studio. Come on now. In fact, we are going to make up here. There will be, be refreshments in another corner. I'll be here for you. Don't you know, be here for you. Won't be, no stress. I'll be here for you. Thank you so much. I thank you guys for watching this video. Of course, I know you like this. I don't need to beg you to be thumbs up. Do the need to make sure you like, make sure you share, and subscribe to this channel. And of course, if you're not already following um, Shim on Instagram, his handle is going to be displayed on the screen. Follow him for inspiring your gospel. Wonderful, I don't know the adjectives to use again, but the content is just amazing. Like, I always, each time I'm online, I actually just said, uh, show back and just check what you have to post. Like, okay, let's see, let's see what's going on. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And mm-hmm. you yeah, say thank you to our guests. Ah, uh, Sajon, God bless you, mm-hmm. God will continue to keep you more grace, more anointing, more of his spirit, more inspiration. You know, mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that you know, God will just continue to pour more and more into you mm-hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. And if God continues to honor your step in the new season of your life, if God just continues to just perfect all that concerns you, you want to have help in the mighty name of Jesus. So, before you can I just pray for you know, people, content creators out there, just generally when watching this video? Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for your grace, we thank you for your love, we thank you for such a platform as this. Because you said we're to a preacher that has touched anything there you be with me, so God. We pray and declare over every soul that is watching this, oh God, that you allow their talents to burst forth in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Everybody who is encountering any type of fear or timidity, I decree in the name of Jesus. It goes right now mm-hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. You are impacted with strength now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. I declare the that anything that is serving as an obstacle is taken out now in the name of Jesus Christ. You begin to show forth the glory of God in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare and declare your life begins to move from one level of glory to another in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare and declare that if there's any association you are supposed to be in and you have not found it, I declare and declare that they begin to come your way now in the name of Jesus. And if you have joined yourself with any wrong association, I declare and declare that you are salvaged now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise and glory. And I declare and declare that if there's anyone that requires resources to carry all these activities out in any space, whether the makeup, the baking, the fashion world, I declare and declare in the name of Jesus that help comes for you now. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will but testify to the glory of the name of the Lord. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you so much. Amen. God bless you guys. And yes, make sure you also share this video so more people can see it. I'm blessed. God bless you. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much. Wow. 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 Wow.